Okay, today we're going to look at the Supertech ST3614, rated for 10,000 miles and made in the USA. So let's get at it. Okay, here she is. Here she says she's 99% efficiency rating. But if you read down below here, it's for 30 microns or higher. Let's see what she looks like. The date code. Product of USA. This is a sticker. She has eight holes. It's kind of a strange design they got these. Uh, it's like a piece of metal inside there. Well, I'll see it when we cut it open anyways. And uh, it looks like it's got a uh, inner is a cage. I don't know if it's plastic or metal. Can't tell on the bottom. The O ring is this is a typical O ring comes off fairly easy. And it's kind of lightweight. Looks okay from the outside. Let's cut her open and see what she looks like inside. Okay, here she is cut open. Here's the base plate. It's a unique design. Has some holes here. I'm, I'm thinking this acts as a, like a bypass valve at the same time somehow because, well, you'll see in a second here. Um, it's got a lot of little holes here, and it's got these holes here, and it's in the center, more in the center. So it's it's a unique design, and. Any drain back valve, this looks like it's prob probably works as a bypass valve too. I'm just assuming, but it's probably how it works. You know, covering over these holes. I don't know. Maybe somebody else got a better idea. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. And it looks like it's nitro rubber. Now the core. Got the felt end caps. And I think it's plastic inside. Plastic cage. I counted 63 pleats. It's a little stain there, but it's nothing. They're pretty even. Uh, just right here, you know, just the one spot here that, well, right here, this is where the it's glued seam right there. It's kind of a, you know, gap here, but otherwise it's it's pretty good. And you got your stamped leaf spring here. Yeah, so there's, you know, it's a felt design, not, not one of my favorites. And the can itself, I got an average here of uh, 0.3 millimeters. Yeah, it, it's about 0.3, because sometimes it catches a, the lip here, you know what I mean? So it's, it reads differently, but it's about 0.3 millimeters. So, and she's uh, about 1 and 7 eighths wide. So let's cut her open and see how long she is. Okay, I was cutting her open. I figured I'd show you guys this. I cut this side off. And over on this side, you could just pull it off, actually. So, just wanted to show you guys how this all comes apart pretty easily. Um, 
It's a plastic kit. It's, yeah, it's plastic. Feels plastic to me. All right, I'll be right back and uh, I'll stretch this out and see how long she is. Okay, here she is cut open. And all stretched out. She's 46 and a half inches long. Okay, and there's not much really else to talk about this filter. Just, you know, it's got a cage. These felt end caps and, uh, you know, strange bypass valve here. If this, that's what it is. And the filter media itself, I mean, it looks, you know, fine. The pleating was spaced, you know, really nice and got a lot of pleats it's filter media I don't know like it's rated for 10,000 so I would probably do five with it but you know I don't know if I'd go for 10 that's about it for this filter hey, if you like the video give me a thumbs up like subscribe and hit that bell thanks for watching and take care